Earlier this month, we learned the Department of Homeland Security was looking over several state election systems to make sure they're secure from cyber tampering. WVTM 13's Ian Wright spoke with some of the congressional candidates in District 3 of about election issues, including security and early voting. Yeah, Sherry, we're going to start with Dr. Adia McClellan Winfrey and whether she's concerned about meddling in our elections. I am, I, and I get more concerned the more these reports come out. I mean, our election process is one of the things that is like at the heart and soul of our country and what makes us great. And so I think that we have to look at that and take a clear, close look, because if our election system is being compromised and, and there's problems with that, you know, what does that say about the state of our nation? We also asked Dr. Winfrey about whether she would like to see early voting offered here in Alabama. I would love to see early voting here. Even um, just the fact of, of when I think about, you know, working class people here and, and people in Talladega where I live, when election day comes, some people really have challenges with going to vote because of their work schedule. And seven to seven seems like it's a long period of time, but you know, shift work limits how people are able to vote. So if we are able to open up our system to where more citizens have the opportunity to vote, I think it's important. And then when we think about the elderly and the older people that are here, you know, I think that when we give people more chances to vote, it in increases our civic engagement. And I think that that's crucial to our country. Fellow Democrat Mallory Hagan says that we've made it too difficult for people to exercise their right to vote, and she too would like to see early voting. I think that the the opportunity to vote should be uh, as easy as possible, as I just mentioned. And if the voting hours for a, a voting poll are 7.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. and someone doesn't have the opportunity to get there for whatever reason it may be, I think early voting would offer them an opportunity to still exercise their fundamental right. In terms of whether she's concerned about meddling in our elections? I'm not concerned about meddling in our elections. Um, I am concerned about about the use of the internet to infiltrate the minds of people who are voting in our elections. To me, that is something that's far more damaging. Um, we've sort of created these echo chambers on the internet based on uh, algorithms and cash and, and figuring out what it is that we look at. And then the internet feeds us, of course, information that only um, reiterates our, our bias. And so that concerns me that we don't have enough people who are willing to, to, to do the work, to dig in, to understand an issue and to create an opinion based on their own understanding. Well, tomorrow we're going to take these questions to the candidates in District 4 to get their take on if our voting systems need more protection and where they stand on offering early voting. Sherry. To learn more about the candidates and the issues, check out the WVTM 13 app by clicking the menu there. And under the News tab, just click Politics. That'll take you directly to our Commitment 2018 section and all you need to know about the upcoming election. The Senate 